Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? Today, we are going to delve deeply into the core of a problem that is of worry to millions of people, which is the possibility of an increase in Social Security benefits implemented through an executive order in the year 2024. It's a question that has been circulating, and I'm here to help you understand the nuances of the situation and provide you with detailed information. Allow me to take a moment to realize the enormous significance that we are discussing before we go with the specifics of the situation. The Social Security Administration is responsible for administering Social Security benefits, which are relied upon by more than 71 million people who receive fixed incomes. That is not just a statistic, it is a sizable section of our population, each of whom has a different narrative to tell and the decisions that are made regarding these benefits will determine the extent to which they are able to maintain their financial stability. Within the realm of politics, it occupies a dominant position. Why is the year 2024 so special? Aside from the typical hype around the election, Social Security is a contentious issue, and politicians are making promises and ideas on both sides of the aisle. It's not simply a subject. It's a story that's being told right in front of our very eyes. Therefore, let's talk about the most pressing question. By means of an executive order, will there be an increase in the amount of monthly benefits in the year 2024? We have taken note of your inquisitiveness, and the question that you have posed is really admirable. For the answer, as a matter of fact, is a resounding nay. However, there is no need for concern, dear viewers because executive orders will not be the magic wand that will increase those benefits from Social Security. We are about to begin on a voyage that will take us through the complex maze of law, Congress, and the complexities of Social Security reform. Prepare yourselves! The meat and potatoes of policy change is legislation, so let's speak about that this time. In the House of Representatives, we have some of the most powerful bills, such as the Social Security, 2100, which was introduced by John Larson, with the goal of ensuring the welfare of Social Security's finances in the future. Bernie Sanders is bringing his A Game with the Social Security Expansion Act, and there's also the SSI Restoration Act, which is making headlines as well. As if they were bees in a hive, these legislation are becoming increasingly popular in Congress. They are the foundation upon which potential pay increases and adjustments to benefits are built. On the other hand, here's the catch. Executive orders are unable to pluck these legislative rabbits out of their hats. Executive orders are not allowed to be used in the process of restructuring Social Security, altering benefits, or revising the cost of living adjustment, COLA. The Constitution gives Congress the authority to enact laws including those that govern Social Security, and it says that Congress has this authority. Therefore, the legislative procedure is required to be followed in order to implement any significant modifications to the Social Security program. What is the reason for the lack of action? The large dysfunctional family that is Congress is to blame for this situation. Imagine something like this. Hundreds of people who have different perspectives, objectives, and interests, and they are having a hard time reaching a consensus on anything. Trying to organize a family reunion for a clan that has hundreds of members is comparable to this situation. This is the reason for the slow progress, the stuck traffic, and the irritation. However, 
You need not be concerned because change is on the horizon. And the year 2024 is well positioned to be the year that ignites the revolution in social security reform. A year of reckoning, the year of social security 2024 is the year of reckoning. Simply providing the facts, I am not making any political statements at this time. The outcome of the election will ultimately determine who will be in charge of guiding the ship through the turbulent waters of social security reform. For the next four years, the administration that succeeds the current one, whoever that may be, will have the opportunity to leave their stamp on Social Security. It is a moment that will determine the success or failure of the program, an opportunity to address the urgent problems and to decide its future. But let's go back to the question that was asked in the beginning. Does the hero that we have been waiting for happen to be an executive order? A resolute no continues to be the response. Executive orders, despite the fact that they have the potential to be powerful weapons for particular acts, such as the distribution of funds or the issuance of relief checks, do not have the authority to pass complete legislation regarding Social Security. The situation is analogous to attempting to fix a computer with a wrench because wrenches are not suited for that kind of work. Now, are there any other possible ways to provide assistance? In a word, yes. Depending on the circumstances, you may refer to them as inflation relief checks, stimulus checks, or whatever you like. Executive orders could be used to put these requirements into effect. Consider a hypothetical situation in which those in positions of authority make the decision to put a few additional dollars into the pockets of the people of the United States or those who get fixed incomes. However, this could be a one-time injection to help reduce the discomfort, even if it won't be an increase to the usual advantages. The finest practices require that significant adjustments be made. It is imperative that any legislation, particularly those pertaining to Social Security, be subjected to the stringent legislative process in Congress. In other words, executive orders are more akin to a backup plan, which is used in the event that the usual route encounters a blockage in Congress. For more complicated matters such as the overhaul of Social Security, it is not the best option. However, let us not overlook the ethical considerations. Under what circumstances would it be morally acceptable for a president to circumvent the legislative process and make significant changes to Social Security payments without consulting the Congress? There are a lot of problems regarding governance, transparency, and the delicate balance of power that arise from this. That is an argument in and of itself. I am not here to take a position or to speculate on the actions that a president might take. Simply put, I am outlining the various alternatives. Imagine someone signing an executive order to increase the amount of money that people receive from Social Security. One could argue that it is a courageous move, but on the other hand, take decisive action in order to meet the requirements of the people. Critics, on the other side, would argue about the ramifications of drawing down trust funds potential controversies, and the age-old debate regarding the role that the government plays in the lives of its citizens. It is a coin with two sides, and regardless of the decision that is made, there will always be someone who has something to say about it. In the realm of politics, there is always opportunity for criticism, regardless of how well-intentioned an action may be when it comes to politics. The never-ending cycle of opinions, counter-opinions, and the unrelenting pursuit of the truth is something that I see every day in the course of my research. In conclusion, despite the fact that an executive order might not be the hero we were looking for in the social security tale, the year 2024 is going to be a year that will be remembered for its success. The election will determine the course that social security will take in the years to come, and the administration that succeeds the current one will be in charge of determining its fate. It is expected that we will ride the waves of legislation.